Uh, there's a ship coming. A big icebreaker. And what the? Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. We're playing a new survival game here today. Uh, this game is called Ice. Uh, it just comes out on May 15th on Steam. Uh, basically, you're like an ice fisherman that's trapped out on the, the, the ice in, I guess, the frozen north. And you have to try to survive until you get rescued. Uh, this game has a lot of this, the common elements that survival games have in terms of managing uh, food and water. But you now, also being in a frozen environment, you also have to uh, manage your... Uh, manage your heat and be careful of uh, environmental hazards and that sort of thing. The game is supposed to be very complex in terms of what it has in it, but um, let's jump in and kind of play it. This is going to be a blind playthrough. First, I'm going to try this out, so we'll see how, man how long we manage to survive, because uh, from what I understand, it is pretty challenging. So the idea of the game is that we're supposed to try to survive as long as we can until we're rescued. Um... Uh, Let's see, I guess inside the tent here, I don't have too many options. I'm sitting down and I can only have really limited looking view. I can look up and I can look down, but I can't really look around. What do we got here? So we can go fishing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can go fishing. I can, what is this, pull my hood up and down? I can put on goggles. I guess this is leaving the tent. This must be for cooking. Uh, I can equip a flashlight or I can go to sleep. Now, it says that when you're sleeping, there's, like, challenges that you're going to have that you have to try to complete, and that determines how well you're doing in a mental state. It kind of impacts how you're surviving. Let's try fishing here first, I guess, since we're already sitting here. Before we go outside into the frozen frozen tundra, we should probably see if we can catch ourselves some food. And then we can probably use a little stove there to cook it. That'd be handy. Nope. Oh, we got one! Oh, yeah, that's a real... We got a real huge fish there. <laughs> I'm going to try and snag a few of these. Now, we haven't moved around a whole lot. My temperature is at 36.6 degrees, so a little on the cold side, but we're not uh, we're not going hypothermic or anything just yet. I guess this tent must provide a fair amount of fair amount of protection. In the bottom left there, you can see the status indicator, so we have like our food level, our water level. I guess uh, the third one must be our endurance, and it's probably based on... I don't know. It's probably based on... Uh, whether we've been eating and drinking, and then the the heart one must be our general health level. The brain, which is something that yeah, I haven't really had to manage in a survival game before. is apparently something else you also have to deal with. Now, what is this? Uh, tab. All right, so there's my, there's my inventory. We've got three fish. They're all raw. Uh, alpha 1, we have nothing equipped. Alpha 2, nothing equipped. Okay, so let's see if we can cook something. Right, let's, let's back up here. So we put the fishing rod down, and then maybe we can cook. What do we got? All right, so on the stove side, we can turn up the heat, and I guess this is swapping out the canister for the the propane, and then we can turn it off. So we're gonna need to turn that on, and then we're gonna cook. So we need this. Um, I guess. We'll, oh wait, I guess we gotta gotta clean our fish first. Oh, Grody, that's awfully detailed. Uh, I guess we're gonna clean some more fish, since we have all three of them. We have to clean. I guess that makes sense. That's super detailed. Like, normally in, in survival games, you just kind of eat the food. There's not really a whole lot of preparation required. Hey, cool. We're cooking the fish. Um, how long do we... Do I have to take this thing off? Does it stop cooking on its own? How does that work? Can I burn the fish? I'm guessing I can burn it. It's getting really dark. Uh, oh, no. It comes off automatically. Okay, good. So he cooks it the right amount. We don't actually have to pay any attention to how long he's cooking it. It'll just kind of do it automatically. I thought I might have to, like, try to time it. All right, we've got our food cooked. I guess I should turn this off so we save propane or whatever that is. Uh, we go back here in the menu. Now, what's this? Is this going to... Oh, yeah, it took my hood down. I don't know what the benefit of that would be to, to take it down. So I'm going to leave it up. We'll put on our goggles. Let's head outside and check out what we can find outside, because we're going to need to find some, some source of water soon. So I guess we leave the tent this way. Wow, that's pretty cool and very frozen looking. And actually, I'm looking through the goggles because I put them on, so my, my vision actually has the little lines and stuff in it. Oh, look at my fancy tent there. I can run, but running on ice is probably not the best idea. It's snowing. So I guess we have to, we have to like look around in the snow banks to find stuff. Now, there's a little tooltip that came up 
as you're loading into the game that tells you that if you find something in the snow, you should probably keep looking around in there because there's probably going to be some more stuff. Uh, I don't see anything here. I need to find like a water bottle or something. What would be great is if I could find like a tin can or something. I don't know how detailed this game is in terms of managing your tasks and stuff, but if you could find a little can, then we could melt some snow on the uh, on the little stove we have. That would help purify it so that it's not... Like, by boiling it, we can kill off any contaminants. Oh, look at my footprints. At least I think those are my footprints. Is there anything I can grab there? No, it's not saying I can get anything, so I'm going to assume those are... Yeah, those are my footprints. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not leaving footprints now. I don't get it gotta be something out here. I'm like, it'd be a little strange for the survival, because I'm already re really low on water. It'd be a little strange for the survival game to start you off right away with nothing you can get. Oh, looks like, okay, we found something. What is this? Okay, I can clearly see the bottle. Like, why don't you just pick it up? Like, just, just grab it. Like, get it right now. It's, it's, just, <sighs> come on. <laughs> you can see the top of it. Just pick the darn thing up. Oh, you know what? I'm probably hitting the wrong key. I'm, I'm hitting the button to dig it out when actually, there we go. I need to hit the E button. Now, I have two frozen ju- Oh, great. It's frozen. Okay. So, do I have to take this inside? Oh, I'm still crouching. <laughs> I should probably stand up. Let's try going inside the tent here. Uh, and let's, uh... See if we can warm up this juice to try to thaw it out. Like, how does that work? Juice is now... Oh, now it's just cold. It's not frozen anymore. Oh, I'm dizzy. I should probably... Uh, probably... Hold on. How do I get out of here? Let's go back here. I'm really low. I'm really, like, super thirsty. So let's use this. Oh, that gave me a good amount. And we'll eat some fish, too. Nice. So, so we have cold juice. It's not frozen anymore. We got some fish. I'm going to eat this stuff. I'm going to get my health back or my food back up. My strength is, or stamina or whatever it is is really low as you can see. It's kind of a gross eating sound. Alright, we're full on food. Good job. Uh, this stamina bar down here though, I'm a little worried about that. Right, we gotta, we're going to have to go and look, look around some more. I think I'm going to drink I'm going to drink this last juice we have. Oh gosh, it doesn't even fill me up entirely. Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay, so... There's, oh, there's something here. What is this? What is that? Let's see if we can dig this... Oh, we got like a whole, like a whole trunk thing here. That's pretty cool. Can I use it? Not excavated. Alright, so I gotta keep digging this thing out. Oh my gosh, the controls in this are a little funky. I can't really aim any higher than this, so I feel like I'm not digging this out properly, but hold on. Let's stand up. Try to get a little closer. Nice! What kind of treasure did we find? Survey says... What? Empty? No, no. There's, there's gotta be... There's gotta be something in the snow around here. Give me something. It's getting to be nightfall. I don't have a ton of water, even though I drank those two bottles of juice. And I ate the fish, so my food's not in bad shape, but my stamina's looking really crummy. I think I'm going to need to sleep. Yeah, I can't... Uh, I felt like nothing. And night's already coming, so I'm going to head back into my tent here. Try going to sleep and see what happens. Uh, now, again, I, there's, they said there's some sort of trials or tests or something you have to do while you're sleeping. Which I guess determines your mental state for the next day. Wow, that is dark. All right, let's go to sleep. Catch some Z's. I can't go to sleep. Why can't I sleep? Let me sleep. All right, how do I sleep? Maybe I've got to take my goggles off. It's very dark in here. Take my hood off. Now I can sleep. Okay, I get it. What the? <laughs> I, I'm, um, I'm confused. What just happened? Am I dead? Did I... I'm confused. I can't get up. I can't... Oh, wait. There we go. There's a sh... Uh... There's a ship coming. A big icebreaker. 
and what the? Okay, I, I've got to get away from the icebreaker that's behind me, I guess. Run for it, buddy, run! Oh, I hope this guy can really jump. Jump for it! Oh, we made it. All right, we've still got the icebreaker behind us. Oh, gosh, it's coming. Run! This is the test? Have I got to get to that big giant door or something? That's so weird. Jump, buddy. Jump again. Oh! Wait, wait, what? I, uh, it just reset me. I jumped to the water and it reset me. I got to start all over again. <laughs> run, buddy, run! Probably don't want to have that thing break the ice out from underneath me, I guess. I can't, I, I can't tell how far away that thing is. It's, it's getting closer because I can see it smashing through the ice, but I can't tell the distance. Jump! No, 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 no! Oh, no, again! <laughs> it's like living Groundhog Day. Oh no, I drowned that time, and it's not letting me back in. I guess I failed. <laughs> I failed that test. Uh, am I awake? It seems like I'm awake, but it's it's pitch black. I can't go back to sleep. It's not giving me that option anymore. I don't have a flashlight, so I can't use that. But what if I turn on the stove? There we go. All right, so I am I am definitely awake, and it's the middle of the night. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I was kind of expecting to be asleep still. I can use this thing for a light source for a minute, but if I run out of propane, that's going to be a problem. So let's try and do a little bit of fishing, maybe. Oh, it's got a little glowing tip on the end of the rod, so when I'm fishing in the dark, I can still see it. That's pretty cool. All right, so based on how badly I did in that test, I can see there's a line that has a limitation on my my food, my drink, my stamina, and my brain capacity. No, 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 not that. I didn't want to didn't want to go fishing again. So it looks like my maximum levels are now reduced because I just I didn't do very well. Uh, let's go in here. We'll clean the fish. I only got a couple of them, but since my maximum is lower now, it should be easier to fill it up, I guess. <laughs> Cook these. Cook the fish. All right, there's no. I've got the the fish cooked. There's no way they give me this propane with an unlimited supply. So I'm going to turn this off. It looks like it is finally starting to get to be a little bit lighter out now. So we can probably go out exploring after we have something to eat. Uh, let's get into the menu here. I have no water left or no juice. Or do I? It says juice zero. I drank. Or I tried to drink it. I got nothing. I wish I had something I could melt snow on the little the little stove here, so I could kind of get rid of any parasites and stuff that might be in the snow, because, I mean, who knows what kind of animals have been going to the bathroom in that. Oh, I'm dizzy, because I'm, I'm out of liquid, so I can eat snow, I know. I think we're going to have to go do that. It's really not ideal. It's going to be bad for my temperature, and then also, it's probably not good from the standpoint of like, general health. But it's a whole lot better than dying of thirst, I guess. Ugh, gross. Yeah, see, it's lowering my... Lowering my stamina. That's weird. My temperature's going up. Am I getting sick? 37.6 degrees. I'm outside in the cold, blowing weather. I should stop crouching, I guess. I'm outside in the cold, blowing weather, and my temperature's going up. That, that kind of concerns me a little bit. Makes me think I might be sick. My brain thing is got... It's down a little bit now. It's over here. Uh, let's try. Let's try jumping across the water. Stand up. Oh, I, I slipped and fell on my butt. <laughs> That's pretty detailed. You don't see that often. All right. Uh, we got another snowbank here, but I'm not seeing anything in it. All right, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm actually sick now. My temperature's up to 41 and change. I'm going to take my hood off and try to cool down a little bit. This might actually make things worse. Let's find out, though. I'm at 41.3 degrees, and that's really warm. 
Alright, we got another box here. What do we got here? Show me the goods! How much, I wonder how much I have to dig this out before I can use it. Can I use it now? Yeah, I can take it out. Good. Show me something. The last one was empty. This one's got... This one has a fish. And it looks like this might be some kind of like a... Candy bar or something? I don't know. Is there anything else in this snow that we can uncover? No. They did say when you're loading in that if you find something in the snow, there's often going to be other things around it. So I kind of want to explore here just a little bit. If there's anything else in this snowbank. Not seeing anything. I wonder how far I have to go away from my tent. I don't want to get lost. Especially since I, my brain's going a little, little loopy. My temperature's going down now at least. I'm at 40.9 degrees. It went down a tiny bit. Oh! I just, <laughs> I just slipped on the ice again. I wasn't even running that time. Ooh, everything's looking spacey. I need to find, like, some medicine or something. I, I don't know if there is any. I hope there is. Uh, we can go over here and try jumping across again, I guess. I can't run anymore. I'm too sick. I can't run. Which... Uh, all right, I can still jump, though. That's good. Because if I couldn't jump, I couldn't even get back to my tent. Jump! Oh, this is going to slip. No, I didn't. How about that? Oh, we found something. This looks like some kind of medicine, maybe. What is it? What is this? I found a battery. That's not medicine. I found a battery. All right, so we, if we ever find something that works with batteries, at least got something we can put in it to power it up. I'm out of stamina. I can't even dig now in the snow. This is no good. I gotta get back to my tent, because I need to rest. But I'm all out of... Uh, I'm gonna have to get even more sick by eating more snow. This does not seem like a good plan. I think I'm gonna wind up dying just by eating snow. Right, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna eat too much. Let's try and... Oh, faint! Oh, I feel like faint! I just passed out. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. My heart went down to nothing. I died! <laughs> well, I got 972 points. Place number 57, Maraguna, 3,024. Apparently, he's been playing a little bit. He's kind of figured the game out. 972 points. I mean, for my first attempt, given I was in, going in completely blind, I guess it's not that bad. Let's maybe try that just one more time here. All right, I think this time I'm going to go out exploring right away. Let's put, on, uh, let's put on our goggles. And we'll go right out in the snow right away and see if we can try to find something useful. Because, I mean, last time I, I cooked up some fish, which was good. I mean, it gave me some food right away. I don't know if this has, like, random placement of items, or if they're always going to be in the same spot. This water bottle was definitely here before. So we got that, so the, or the bottle of juice, I guess it is. Let's, uh, let's head across to another one of these ice flows here. I think I see something in the snowbank over here we can get. Oh! That was bad. I wiped out. Stand up, buddy! Alright, so we've got a crate in this one for sure. Let's, uh, let's dig this out. Now, it's, it seems like it's, it's definitely a very bad idea to have to eat the snow, so it would be good if I could try to not excavate it. Come on. There we go. It would be good if I could try to get some more stuff to drink here early on, because that seems to be probably the biggest issue is running out of liquid. Hey, we found more liquid. Score. All right, we found a lunchbox. This one's got a sandwich in it. Score. Oh, he just throws it away. This guy's it's not exactly the tidiest fellow, is he? It looks like I can see the shore over there. I mean, I wonder if you can get over there. Apparently, what you have to do is try to survive long enough and find a flare gun so that when the helicopter or the search plane or whatever goes over, you can shoot the flare and get their attention, and then you get rescued, and that's kind of how you survive. But otherwise, it seems like it's just, can you live long enough, and how many points can you earn while you're staying alive? Cause they got like a global leaderboard kind of thing, which is kind of cool. Oh, what is that? There's something. There's something in that snowbank over there. I think uh, we might have to cross over here. This is gonna hurt. Don't wipe out. Oh, look at this. We found somebody else must have been out here digging in the snow. We found their fish. I didn't even have to fish for my own fish. I can just collect it out here. Sweet. 
All right. We got something over here in the snow. What is this? Uh, those look like boots. Is this a dead dude? Oh yeah, this this guy's this guy's definitely a little worse for wear. Maybe though he might have some stuff on him. It's kind of grim, but we're trying to survive. We'll take any advantage we can get here. He's got a puffy jacket. Oh, we got more juice. I'm definitely gonna grab that. Now the juice is all frozen, I think. I might have to take it into the tent before I can even drink it. Oh, wow, that's grim. Hey, flare gun! Okay, so we, we can get the flare gun. How's my, how's my inventory? Inventory's full. I don't have a room for the flare gun. Um, that's not good. Maybe I can... I can eat this sandwich, maybe. And move some stuff around. I, I have a feeling this flare gun's gonna take up... It's gonna take up a fair amount of space. What is this? That's normal juice. Juice cold. Juice normal. Okay, so it has different temperatures. When you hold on to it, I guess it warms up. I'm thinking when you're out in this freezing environment, you probably don't want to drink stuff that's too super cold. Oh, weird. Okay, so it filled up like the teardrop shape, but it didn't fill up the glass. Because maybe the... I don't know. Maybe that's this is already full when it's that high? I don't, I don't get it. Let's drop the empty bottles, though. I'm gonna move uh, move some fish over here, and then we'll drop this fish. And I want this flare gun. Nice. Anything else hiding in here? I mean, we can come back here, I guess, and get more. Oh, ketchup or hot sauce of some kind. There's a flare. I probably want that. Hold on. Maybe I can equip this flare gun. Yeah, I can. Good. And that lets me get this. So it's in the the right button. I have to be careful I don't shoot it by accident. First aid kit. We've got looks like some more propane here, which is good. Take all this junk out of here. Maybe I can can I load this flare? It's a rocket, humidity. I can't load it in the pistol. Can I pick this up or am I too full? Oh, I open it. Oh, look at all the medicines in here. Gold mine. What I got? Press it. Uh, Dintalgin and paracetamol. I, don't, I have no idea what these drugs do. <laughs> I'm gonna just get sick. end up taking random drugs if I get sick. All right. Where's my tent? Oh, it's way over there. Uh, I should probably probably try to head back because I'm got full inventory now, and I don't want to get too far away in case night falls here. That was a good find, though, and there's more stuff over there, so I'm definitely going to come back this way again. All right, we made it back to the tent. Let's go in here. Now, is there any place to actually store stuff? It it, it looks like... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. So, tab... All right, so it does look like there's storage here, so that's good. So, I'm going to put the flare gun and this flare in storage. Uh, I should probably put some of this medicine in storage, too. I can put some of this juice in here. We'll keep some on me. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking. Uh, or I should probably clean these, this fish out too first. All right, we got both our fish cooked. Let's turn this off so we can save our propane. Although I, though I know there is another propane tank over there. I don't have it right now. I would like to go and retrieve that and bring it back here. We've got a pretty good load of stuff here now. I think maybe I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna eat the fish to try to keep myself filled up here. Uh, I'm going to have a drink of water because I see my water level's gone down a bit. Or I guess it's juice I'm drinking, not, not water. And there might still be a little bit of daylight left, so let's go take a look outside. My stamina is a little bit on the low side, so I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to have to sleep just yet, but I will have to sleep in the near future. But I think we have time to go and poke around in the snowbanks that are near our tent, and then we can go, go lay down and have a little sleep in a minute. Well, it's getting dark out here. I didn't get very far from the tent looking around before the, before night started to close in. So I think we should probably head back to the tent. My stamina is kind of low anyway. I already can't run. So we'll just walk back over to the tent since it's not too far. We'll go in and uh, have a little sleep. I wonder if there's a little backpack or something you can get that helps increase the size of your inventory. Because there's not really a lot of opportunity to carry very much. Take off the hood. We'll take off the goggles. And that should let us go to sleep, I think. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's based on time. I mean, it's 1923 now. Maybe 
Maybe I can't sleep until it gets to a certain time. I could, I could go fishing again, I guess. I think it, it should be late enough now that I can go to sleep. I hope it's past 8 o'clock now. And yeah, so it might be time-based. and sort of. I thought maybe it was stamina-based, and it could be, I guess, I'm bottomed out now. But it might just be time-based. So last time we had that we had that crazy icebreaker thing. Oh, now I'm getting uh I'm getting like a thing for drilling holes in the ice. Why do, why do I need that? I don't There's no giant door this time and no ice. Oh, there's people. Uh that music is really ominous though, and the fact they just gave me this and little red crosshair suggests this is really more of a weapon than a tool. Oh yeah, these guys these guys don't look friendly. Oh, I clobbered him. Okay, so I gotta be careful. They're kind of all around me. There might be they might be coming up behind me here too. I see them climbing up over the side of the ice over there, so they could be doing the same on my island. Oh, get out of here! Zombie Central. I don't appear to have a stamina meter, so although I do have a heart rate, I, I guess maybe the longer I last out here, the the better I do, and maybe I'll be in better shape tomorrow. I'm dreaming though, so hopefully I don't have to worry about like actually running out of exhaustion or stamina. I don't know if that little meter in the bottom is like how much health I have, or am I supposed to go somewhere, or do I just survive these things? Hey, buddy! Boom! I can't jump though, so clearly I won't be crossing any crazy water. This one's... Oh, I, I ran into a dead end. That was maybe... I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I guess... From the good idea perspective, it might be that I only have to defend from one side, so that could be good. Get out of here! You too! And... And you! No, I missed! Oh, they got me. I accidentally clicked off the screen or something, and it... I don't know how it, I don't know how it happened, but it minimized the game on me. And then it clobbered me. But I did manage to take out a few of them. I still... I still guess it, I didn't fare all that well because it looks like uh, it looks like I'm still maybe not in the best state. I've already gotten lowered stamina, lowered food, and lowered health, lowered brain capacity too, by the looks of it. All right, we got our food cooked. Uh, let's turn this thing off. I think I'm gonna go out and maybe uh, go back to where we found that body. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hood back on, I guess. Put on my goggles. Uh, I should take a drink of water here before, or a drink of juice before I go. Let's use that. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to bring some with me, but I, I don't know that that's a good idea, because I want to keep my inventory pretty empty. I can put this, this bottle in here too, I guess. Now, I'm wondering, it says juice normal and it's time zero. Can I refill that with snow? I, I don't know. I, I mean, it seems like it should be something I can do, but if I could just melt the snow. Oh. Actually, I think it might be blizzarding out here right now. I have to be a little bit careful how far away I go because I'm not going to be able to see my tent from a distance. I'm going to keep tabs of the direction, I guess. Okay, I found my way back to the body in the snow. Let's try and collect up some of this stuff. It looks like hot sauce of some kind. I don't know what that is. Take some of that. Maybe it's a flask of alcohol. That would be interesting. Oh, the guy's got a fish in his hand. That was convenient. We've got fish, we've got juice. We've got whatever this is. Rum! Oh, oh, we're set! Alright. Uh, maybe I should dig in the snow just a little bit more. We'll see if we can find anything else around this guy's body. Oh, what is this? That looks like another little lunch pail thing. Got a sandwich for me? Oh, he already ate his lunch. Okay. Temperature's good this time. I'm not sick yet because I haven't eaten the snow. I think my tent was off that way can't see it anymore. Oh, yeah, there it is over there. Okay, so the this, this storm did clear up enough that I can see at least. Juice cold, zero. Oh, right, that's the water bottle that I already had. Um, that's not doing me any good, but I don't want to drink the rum because that'll thin out my blood and make me colder. It'd be nice to find something to drink out here other than the rum. If I, I mean, in a pinch, I'll drink the rum. I just would prefer not to. At least until I get back to the tent. Tell me this is a duffel bag or something that will let me carry more. That would be amazing. What is this thing? Is this a tent or something? It looks like this is a, a collapsed tent. Mind you, this might be the tent of the guy that was laying in the snow over there. Maybe he was out exploring and just didn't make it back in time. I don't see anything else here. 
All right, we're in we're in a bad state now. I'm 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 all out of liquid, so I'm gonna have to drink some of this rum. But this is not gonna help my thirst. Ooh, it did. <laughs> well, it helped a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much I can drink though before I'm actually sick. I can't eat anything. Uh, I have more juice back at the tent. I really should head back. I'm gonna wind up dying here. Uh, I do want to explore here. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> Am I drunk now? I can't even walk. Two gulps of yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Two gulps of rum, and I'm falling down drunk. That's that's really bad. Uh, everything's going a little wobbly. I don't know. If, am I dizzy now because I'm low on? Oh, I'm gonna wind up dying out here. Am I dizzy because I'm low on water or because I just drank a whole bunch of rum? I need to get. I gotta get back to my tent though, or I'm gonna be toast. Please tell me I can jump still. Oh, my foot was like right in my face. Oh, I fainted. I think I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm dead. No, I'm awake. I'm awake. Whew. I thought I was going to be toast. Apparently, I, I kicked myself in the face so hard I knocked myself out. Okay, I'm, I've got to get back here. We've got a little bit of stamina, but not enough that I could run. We're out of food. We're out of water, but I do have... I do have juice back at the tent, and I have a fish on me that I can cook if we could just get back here. Oh, come on, it's, it feels like the tent is like a million miles away. At least I can still jump. For now, I can't I can't run though. When my stamina goes down to nothing, I have a feeling I'm gonna pass out. Uh, yep, I'm toast. Oh, that I died. Ah! Alright, we got to 1,458 points that time. That was a little bit better. Number 28 on the list. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna try and come back and try and do this again because I want to. I want to try and get farther and farther in the game. I'm starting to get the handle on how to do the different, uh, the different aspects of the game and what we're gonna to need to survive. I did find some good equipment there, but clearly not enough to stay alive. I have to come back and try that again another time. Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, just leave a like if you did and you want to see more of it. Let me know in the comments and then maybe we can play this a few more times. It is kind of a neat little game. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.